Hello, I'm Rod Schaub and we're coming back for the last in the series of the electric fence videos. This evening I want to talk about corner post. You know, we can put in the H post like we put in for barbed wire fence, but you know, that's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of post. Uh, I kind of like to use the floating angle brace. Uh, this is a, a very substantial corner post and it will it'll be effective for one to eight wires. Our neighbors over in Missouri, they tell me that you can easily run a, a five wire barbed wire fence off of one of these uh, floating angle braces. So give you a little bit of information about what we want to do. We want to set our, our, our post deep into the ground. I'm going to show you one that we did just a little bit ago. Um, and it's actually, we, we went about four foot deep. We put the post in the ground and then this brace that goes through here, we want it to be two times as long as the highest wire of the fence. So if the highest wire is going to be 32 inches, it needs to be a minimum of 64 inches long. So <clears throat> you cut a little notch here, you put the pipe in. Uh, we welded a, a little piece of chain link on the end of our, our pipe out here. You can see that we, they just use high tensile wire. There's a daisy wheel. They uh, pull this thing tight. And guys, that acts as a really, really good post, uh, brace post. And, and underneath this pipe, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to put a large flat rock, a disc blade, something along those lines. But those are very good and very substantial corner posts. Here you can kind of see uh, how they're doing it. Here they used a creosote post. And you can see here better uh, what the daisy wheel looks like, how they kind of run their wires. You can see the brace post coming down through there. They've already got this electrified and you can see the, the electric wire that's there. Another thing you can do is you can make uh, these floating T-posts out, uh, out of a T-post. And if you see here, uh, you can buy these. They make a kit that you can put onto an uh, existing T-post. I actually uh, just took some out to a cutting torch and cut them and, and, and burn a hole in it. And I've done basically the same thing. These are fairly effective. I use them on one wires. They say they can be also used for as many as two wires uh, on the fence. And then lastly, uh, if you have some three inch pipe, you can drive that into the ground. If you drive it in the ground as deep as you leave it out of the ground, then you can run one to three wires on that. So if you drive it in the ground three foot and you leave it out three foot, then you'll have a, a corner post that you can make out of a out of a three inch piece of steel pipe. Once again, that's driven. That's not a post hole dug and then put in. I suppose you could do that if you if you put it in concrete or something like that. Well, we're going to go outside and we're going to show you uh, some of the, the floating T braces that we have. I have one made out of T post. I have one also made out of uh, of a wood post and piece of pipe. So we'll go outside, we'll show you those, and we'll be done. Thanks a lot. Well, we're in the pasture, and we just got done digging a, a post hole. This post hole is about four foot deep, and we're going to put this post in. What we're making today is a floating angle brace post, and uh, this is going to be a corner for this short run of fence that we have. So uh, we'll get this post set, and we'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see here, We've got the post set. We came up here, we've notched the post. We've actually drilled a hole in it. We're gonna drive a rod that will stick through there that'll help hold uh, the brace part of the post onto the corner post. Now, as you can see, we got the pin put into uh, the cut area and it's at a bit of an angle. And if you look down here, here's our brace post. At the end of this brace post, we welded on a partial chain link and we're going to run that's what we're going to run the wire through here in just a second 